Hi there, welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey. Today we are working on my porch. We had some rotten pumpkins, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little messy. So I have my youngest out here helping me. He was bringing some of my Christmas and winter pieces out and I am just cleaning up this porch you guys know my home is 1925 year old cottage and we have a wrap around porch and i love to decorate i think this is so much fun this is one of the main reasons why i bought this house was for this porch so i have so much fun doing this porch although this is just the beginning because i don't go super crazy for christmas on the porch i do however keep decorating throughout winter so this is definitely going to be a single double maybe triple part video but for right now this is the beginning and i have a lot of my old decor i keep in the basement and i bring it out for winter and here is one of my trees which is going to be moved so don't worry about this one right now i am utilizing what i have laying around before I add any new pieces. So here is one of my wreaths. I just love, it's a light up wreath, although we are not lighting it up this year. This is a sled that I made in a previous video, which I will link down below. This is one of those trees that I had before, and this is on the side of the house now. So if you guys remember, I have my faux fireplace, which I am so in love with and I want to decorate it for every season now. So I got rid of those rotting pumpkins. I turned around my apple cider sign. I could put it away, but I figured I'm just gonna leave it there. I think it's cute and it blocks the window. This is one of my windows that one of my dogs loves to look out and bark at people walking by. So here I'm just putting the tree out. And again, these are light up trees, but because it's an old house, we have no electric outlets outside. So we have to go through a window or go through our garage and use extension cords. So only some things will be lit up this year, but you're gonna see that. So here is a bucket that I have had for quite a long time. It just had like paint in it. I'm not sure what was in it. So my husband is cutting off the little plastic pieces at the bottom of the tree and he's using my miter shears and we are just going to shove that guy all the way down. This is a tree I got from Michael's when they had the trees half off. Plus I had a voucher and a coupon. So this tree cost me about $8 and it's a four foot light up flocked tree. So I am just blocking it. I'm undoing the branches and I'm just getting it all ready because I am going to light this one up. So here's my husband, I guess, um, babysitting, um, managing me, making sure that I get those uh, leaves down, those branches down. And um, he's actually such a great help. He was doing all the lights while I was doing all the little trees, which I do not have video recorded. You guys know how much he loves to be on video. So here I am finishing up the tree. I just love this base and I did not like how small it was. So we decided to stick it on a little tr table here. And then it seemed a little um, not secure. So it light, it lights up, so that's good. So now my husband is just adding some asphalt rocks that we have just to keep it heavy so it doesn't blow away. So thankfully so far it has with, withstanded a whole storm. Here's this guy, he's so proud of himself, but really he, he did a lot. He did the lights and he helped out with the tree, but we are gonna get back to more buckets. So this is another bucket I had in the basement and I'm just utilizing all my leftover Christmas decorations and I'm trying to make something out of it without going out and buying anything else. So this was one of those garlands that you get at Michael's. This little guy I keep trying to stick in there. That is from the Target Dollar Spot. And I did get a couple of them. I wasn't sure how many would fit inside of this because like I said, I'm just kind of smushing everything in. So I'm opening things up and I'm just trying to make it nice and full looking. 
So here I have a dowel and I have some of those um, extra pine, you know, like fillers that you can get from Dollar Tree or Michaels. And I'm just wrapping the dowel so, and I'm doing another one just so it adds a little extra, you know, something, something, just so to kind of fill in those bare spots. Now I definitely didn't have a vision for this. I just wanted to use this bucket and I had all this extra stuff. So I have some sticks that are left over from my fall decoration. So I just shoved them in here. These are real sticks. I think they add like such a cute charm to it. And then I decided I needed a little color. So I just have these Dollar Tree gold leaves. I shoved those in and then I added another tree. So you'll see that at the end. This is my pride and joy. I got this sled the other day for $15, guys. Like, oh my goodness. This was from the thrift store. This was $2.99. I did nothing to that basket. You're gonna see I have some Dollar Tree trees here. And I'm doing the same thing my husband did. I'm just using my miter shears and I'm cutting the pieces of the bottom of the tree so that way I can fit it inside of the bucket. Now I don't know if there is an easier way. I really, I'm not sure. So I just, this is what I did and it works. So I'm just sliding all the little pegs in and I do have the two Dollar Trees. So you're gonna see that in a second. So here I am just finishing this up. Now I had these two here and I wasn't sure how to put them together. So I just decided just to use the branches. So I just pulled all the branches out and then I would open up a layer and then use those branches just to wrap around. And I'm gonna do this for many, many layers. And I think this is so cute. I bought the white because I thought I was gonna do something in the dining room with my coastal theme, but my dining room has really just become my wrapping station. And I haven't done too much decorating in there. It's, it's cute, but it's definitely not, um, you know, it's not cute like, the rest of my house so this little white guy decided i decided not to put him in the dining room and i am going to put him outside now so i think this is really cute though adding the extra branches it just makes it look more full now i just love decorating with so many different colors and i try to stick to a theme but i really didn't stick to a theme outside this year um, only because i am going to be adding to it throughout winter so if you saw inside that bucket, I just have um, a little Tupperware container just to raise it up a little bit. And I hot glued and Starbond glued the tree right on top of that. And it felt like it needed something. So I grabbed some burlap and I'm just gonna hot glue the burlap right to the edge here. So it doesn't go all the way down deep, but you can't really see inside of it because it's such a thin bucket. But I thought this burlap would be so cute. And here is just a big jug of rocks. And again, this is going outside and it's definitely winter here. So it is stormy and wintry. So I just threw some rocks inside of it so it didn't blow away. So here are those little trees that I am not lighting up. So I am using my fairy lights that are on a battery. So I will only turn these on uh, when there's company coming over. Um, but I'm just putting the fairy lights around the trees and I have two trees. So now I'm just throwing out some decor. Now this wasn't exactly how I envisioned it, so I'm definitely gonna change things out for winter once Christmas is over. I started with this garland here and it kind of looked cheesy. So in the end pictures, you're gonna see a different garland that I ended up going back down to my basement and finding another one. So here is the house, it is all lit up and I just love my house, I love my porch. I just think it is so awesome, it's just, I just love it. I love my porch. And this is it all lit up because of course nighttime is magical. These are the lanterns I made in a previous video which I'll link down below because these were so easy. Like I could not believe that I made these. Like I am just still so proud of these. And I love how they light up at night. This was another DIY that I had done in my previous video and I added some fairy lights. And here is my beautiful tree and my little bucket. Here are my little guys here. And these are just tied to the faux mantle place so they don't blow away. And now it is daytime. So I took some more pictures just so you guys can see all the fun because I just, I love my porch. I really do. Of course, we just had a huge rainstorm 
and it was um, yeah it was definitely wet and cold out so here is everything during the day and again I'm gonna be adding to this as a season goes but I just think this is such a cute idea having this mantle place really is just it's everything I just love it so so much I want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed and you were inspired please consider subscribing if you're looking for any of the supplies I use in my DIYs I have an Amazon store which I'll link below if you're looking for chalk products from Chalk Couture I will link those down in my link tree also down in my description you can find me on Instagram and Freckle and Facebook as Freckled Mom. Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I want to remind you guys, if you are a content creator, I have my Room by Room open playlist, which is on January 6th. And my co-host is Yelena from the Blondie Next Door. So I'm super excited and I hope you'll join us. If you're not busy when this video is through, I will be live on my friend's channel. Jerry from The Happy Hoarder has asked me to come hang out and craft with her tonight. She will be on a little earlier, but I'll be on around 7.30 tonight. So head on over to The Happy Hoarder my friend jerry's channel and check us out come hang out and craft i hope you have a wonderful season and i will see you guys back very soon